my name is Rukhi Ahmed. I'm uh, uh, here from Cognizant and I'm uh, part of the uh, development team in developing GCP and SAN right now. Uh, here I'm going to present uh, some new features which is now uh, came in HTML5 and many of the browsers have already implemented that and some are uh, new, uh, some are still implementing like I. So uh, why we need uh, <coughs> more features in HTML and web technologies? Uh, as we see from how uh, things are progressing from 1990s to till now, is that is a uh, this dark uh, line is the native apps and this is the web apps. Uh, slowly, all the application, uh, the rich application, what uh, web people are developing for web, is now matching with the native apps, and slowly it will surpass. Uh, there are few uh, many new applications <coughs> with new features are coming in the new browsers. Is the uh, hierarchy. Um, some of these key challenges uh, what developers are facing nowadays in the uh, web is uh, more graphics we need, graphical things, uh, location based services like uh, now the uh, social applications and map based application need the location of the user to serve them with better. Uh, uh, Something better. Then more storage in the website itself, so that when uh, every time you save some data, you don't need to communicate to the server. You should storage should be available in the uh, browser itself. And the more speed, because uh, I'll talk about the speed more in this. The JavaScript speed from 2001 to till now is increased something like 100 times in the new browsers. And why we need it? Because nowadays more and more rich application we are developing and it should be very fast. The application now it is not just a website or web pages, it is a web application. Uh, now web, uh, web uh, one page architecture like Gmail or uh, Google Maps, so you never change a page. Your more Ajax is used and uh, the DOM manipulation, DOM traversing, those things are more used. So JavaScript should be more faster, so that it should it should be very smooth. So what's new in HTML5? Why we need HTML5? The new uh, things are coming, as I mentioned, the graphics. So Canvas and SVG is a new thing in HTML5. It, it was there in SVG, uh, there, it was there before, but SVG layers were not very uh, communicating with the do, uh, proper DOM tree. So you can't manipulate SVG as we are manipulating other DOM, uh, DOM elements. And SVG, uh, no, SVG is uh, scalable vector graphics. It's a, you can create images on those things. So video and audio. Uh, till now, uh, we are implementing, uh, adding the video with some plugins, some flash or objects and those things. Uh, now, HTML5 has inbuilt video and audio support. Then geolocation. Uh, now. Uh, browser can find out your location. And this can be uh, with your permission. It can find out, and then it can send to you uh, the server and uh, the uh, like social application and map based application to find out your location, and people can serve that. App cache and database. These are also new things where you can create your own database in the browser itself. You don't need to send the, uh, uh, some data to your server and save it. You can create, you can write your own SQL statements in browser in JavaScript, and save your files like JavaScript or CSS uh, images. <coughs> uh, these should uh, is uh, they were also uh, saved before in the cache, but app cache is more powerful. It can means uh, when you it should be like that means when you close a browser, open it and without any network connection. Your, all networks are unplugged, still your website should work, everything. Then web workers. Web workers is more like threading thing. It's not a threading, but it's it, it will look like a threading where uh, your more uh, JavaScript, when it is running, sometimes it freezes your uh, graphics. So uh, web workers uh, does a very nice things where you can parallelly run your JavaScript in two threads. 
uh, native JSON support. Nowadays, more and more uh, data we are uh, retrieving from the server in the JSON format is more compiled, and JSON uh, is a inbuilt uh, uh, JavaScript object notation. So it is much more parsing is much more faster. XML uh, in JSON, uh, JSON and XML. If you compare, JSON has 100 times more uh, parsing speed than XML. Now the, uh, JSON has uh, more support from browsers. So what does it mean? Can you go back? I'll go one by one in detail. It's a bit hard. Okay. Uh, till now, can you draw a line on web? Yes, can you build a line or a circle or a tangle in a, in a website? And I like on click or something. So this is the SVG, scalable vector graphics. Uh, now you can create images in the web itself. This this one is not an image. This is SVG. This created through SVG there. How we write it? Is that this is the doc type for HTML5? <coughs> not uh, nice and easy, small thing. Then. <coughs>